Welcome back. Back on, back on a Sunday long run. I haven't done a Sunday long run for ages. Today I want to talk about goals moving forward. I haven't really had any set goals. It's just about being working on fitness and stuff, so. But now I want to set two. At the minute I've got a 26.18 5k and I want to work towards a sub 25. It's going to take a bit of work I know but that's what I'm going to do. And my 10k is one hour and something like nine seconds. So I want to get it below the hour. That's my second goal. But, I mean, might be pushing too far. My Chorus app tells me that I should be able to do it in 55 minutes. So, if I can hit that goal, then I'd be extremely happy. Uh, yeah, I'm working with a running club now, so. Hopefully I'll build a bit more structure. And uh, yeah, I'll have a bit more motivation along the way to push harder on those harder sessions. The time frames for these uh, goals, the 5K one especially, I've got just over a minute to shave off. So 26.18 is my current PB. So a minute and 18 to get 25 a bit more if I want to go sub 25 and taking a minute off your time is quite a big chunk when you think about it I think I don't know it might be a bit quick but if I give myself so like Christmas Christmas time then I think that's a reasonable distance reasonable time frame even to uh, be able to achieve that goal um, and the 10k, the first 10k goal one, get below an hour. That shouldn't be as difficult. I reckon I should be able to do that before the end of summer. Because I was so close. I've got like one hour, a couple of seconds or whatever it is, a few seconds. But my trouble is, whenever I do a 10k, if I'm doing it at any sort of pace, I get to like seven for six or seven K. Then I need a poo. <laughs> then I have to slow down and find a toilet. So sorry if that's a bit graphic, but it is what it is, you know, it happens. So yeah, anytime I've ever done a 10k at pace, any sort of like faster pace, it always gets you. Or always gets me. And I was having a chat with a guy on Instagram about this. And he's like, yep, no, it gets me every single time. He goes even on a race. I have to make a note of where the port are. <laughs> and I pit stops. He says, oh, what was it? When he goes out on training runs, he says, yeah, that's what he calls a poo loop. So he runs out the door, starts running, and then if he feels like he's gonna have the urge pretty soon, he'll just do a quick loop around the block, go back home, do a poo, and then go out and do the rest of his run. And I feel like it's something more people than actually say it have to deal with. Because, you know, it's a little bit embarrassing saying, oh, I had to stop my run because I need a poo. But, cool in nature. Can't help it sometimes. All this running and jiggling about, it gets all your organs working. Oh, well, it's getting the gravity working, pulling it down. It's probably more what's happening. But 
yeah, so <laughs> gone away off topic. Getting below that hour mark on the 10k, I feel it won't be as hard. Getting to that 55 minute 10k, that might take a bit more time. And I might say, I don't want to say the same time as the 5k. Let's give it till end of January. So an extra month for that one. I mean, if I achieve them beforehand, great. But I want to make sure I'm working on it steady. I don't want to go too hard too soon. You know, I'm still pretty new to running. I've got loads of time left in me. There's no need to rush these things. I'm not going for any sort of like, I'm not going for the Olympics or anything. You know what I mean? I ain't got a time frame. Anyway, I'm going to shut up now. And actually do a bit of running. I did my first club run on Wednesday and uh, I've been running using kilometers since I started in January I switched over to kilometers in February. I don't know why, it's just someone told me kilometers use it. Everyone on the run club at the run club uses miles so now I feel like the, the weird one the old one out and I don't know what they're talking about when they're talking paces so I've switched all mine back to miles now I ain't got a clue how fast I'm running <laughs> it's kind of going by feel now yeah So what am I running now? 12 minute mile pace. So for a 10k, that'd be an hour and 20, right? It's pretty slow. It's good for a slow run. Slow long run. I say slow long run. This is only a 10k today, but a slow one. We're building them miles back up. Try and get back up to three runs a week again now. Been doing strength work. I feel like I've got that now. Doing a 5k, well, just under 5k we did the other day on the club run. If I'd have run the full 5k, we'd have done a PB. I did, I still on kilometers this day. 4.74 kilometers in 25 minutes, 25 seconds. So, it was that another 200? 60 meters in 35 seconds. Should have been able to do that. That would have been a sub 26. But wasn't to be, we didn't do it, so it doesn't count. We've done 5.2 miles of our 6.1 miles. And uh, yeah, I have to walk because it's happened, or it's happening. Got that feeling, need to go poop. If I keep running, it's just gonna come out. <laughs> so, this might be a nice uh, one mile walk home. <sighs> you know what, I, I go to the toilet before I leave, but, yeah. One of them things, isn't it? Right, I think we'll end this one here then, and uh, see you on the next run.